Welcome to the brief program overview. Here I want to show you the most important things you need to know while navigating around the PowerPoint program. As you remember from the previous lesson, Microsoft introduced the ribbon system. We have quick access to the most important tools sorted in groups here on the ribbon. The first tab is the file tab. This is the place where you either save your presentation or you export it to a PDF file or a video. This is important to remember because normally if you are saving a PowerPoint file you just go to save or save as and you browse where you want to save it but if you are intending to post a PDF or a video you go to this position. Later on when you work often in PowerPoint you can make shortcuts for yourself here on the quick access toolbar. There is a reason why we made a few slides in the previous lessons so it's now easier to explain. PowerPoint essentially is a presentation software. Right now we have four slides inside of this presentation. The slides we used previous to explain a few lessons. I can freely rearrange each slide to be above each other or in any place I want. I can also click on any slide and simply hit the delete button to delete it. I hit Ctrl Z or Command Z on Mac. I think everything here is pretty self-explanatory. On the top we have our navigation toolbar. On the left side we have our slides. And in the middle we have our working area which I will explain a little bit more in detail later. Important thing to know that you can always resize those areas. For example if you want the slides bigger or the slides smaller if you for example have only one slide you don't need it. You just make it small and it will not bother you. This is useful because later on we will work with animations. We will open up the animation pane. We will work with the background. We will open the format background tab. And right now I am not seeing very much of my slide. There is a nice button in PowerPoint 2013 which may help. It's here far on the bottom side. The last icon fits slide to current window. So we don't have always to work with the size here in the zoom option. We can simply click it and it will adjust the slide perfectly to fit the current window. I will make the animation pane smaller and of course close everything. Fit the slide to the window. I'll make the slide a bit smaller because I myself don't like if it covers the entire screen and I don't see if I didn't left anything around it. Alright, we know something about the navigations. Another important thing to know that you can always preview what you are currently doing. Here on the far bottom side we have the slideshow button. You can also activate it by hitting F5 on the keyboard. By hitting F5 I'm starting the preview of the entire presentation. By pressing the arrow keys or the mouse button, I navigate to the next slide. I hit the escape button. And I believe these were the most important things when it comes to navigating through the program. Through the course, I'll teach you a few things about the navigation. Now I would like to give you an assignment. Please open up PowerPoint, go to the slides here on the left side, add a new slide or a few more of new slides Maybe delete everything in the middle and populate the slide with anything you could find in PowerPoint. For example, go to the Home tab or to the Insert tab and insert a shape, insert a text box. Just play a bit around with PowerPoint. Once you insert the text box, you write in anything. As you can notice, a new tab has appeared. This applies to everything you add in PowerPoint. Once you add a shape or text or a photo, a specific format tab appears which applies only to the object you have currently selected. If you don't have time editing text, you can use word art styles, which are predefined themes for the text. Let me select, for example, a blue one, go to the home, make the text bigger, and I have instantly a design. A quick tip about the format tab which is appearing, this is only a convenience of Microsoft to add things once something is selected. You can of course change the text in the home tab just the same way as by going to the drawing tools and changing the text color here. It doesn't matter, it is only that on the home tab you have the font tools and on this tab you are working on this particular object. So when it comes to the font change it doesn't matter if I change the color here or I go to drawing tools 
and I change the text fill here. But if I would like to fill the object, the color of the object, I need to work here. Here because I have the shape styles. Not only the font styles, but also the shapes. Because PowerPoint is treating text, fonts and text boxes as shapes as well. So you can always fill them or edit them or add some design to it. Even if you think that it's only a font. Let me hit Ctrl or Command Z to make it as before. So these were the really basics and an overview of the program. I really hope you will open up PowerPoint and have a few minutes of fun inside of it, making anything. And once you're ready, please head over to the next lesson where we will continue explaining the program and slowly start working on a more serious project. That's it for now. See you in the next lesson.